When I was on my masters, they used to always ask me, what is the status of the drawings? And I never used to understand the question until a bit later on, because some of it is research, and then some of it ends up being the thing. Right, right I'll tell you what, here's a good example up here. Um, so see, on the back wall there, right? And I've got, like there's them two lads there, see like the two old looking fellas. And they were just drawing out of a book, there, a book of Leonardo da Vinci drawings. And then, just for them being on the studio to kind of develop into something else. And then they, that ended up being this sort of informing this print here. For this latest animation I've been doing, which is this Death and the Rome boat, which is actually based on that, which was a little mechanical sculpture that I made a few years ago. Um, that and drawing is part of the process, but the final piece isn't a drawing, it's an animation, but it's an animation of a drawing. When you know where you're going with it, do you know, and you can just, and it's almost, it's not mechanical because you still have to think about it. And, but, do you know when you just work and you're like, okay, I've got to get to there now, and you, you just, and you know how to do it, then it is sort of, do you know, you can just be sitting, you can be in the studio for a day and it's just, Gone, you just listen to music or listen to documentaries, whatever, and then but when it's you know, when you're trying to figure out how to do something, especially when it's a process you don't I've never done before, or like with animation or drawn animation or stop motion, and there's a lot of figuring out, and some of the figuring out is really good fun, but then some of it is just like you'd be tearing your hair out if you had hair, you know. So, yeah, I think it varies, but. In general, I do love doing what I'm doing, yeah. Most of my drawings would begin with a photograph or a gathered object. I love taking pictures of abandoned spaces and abandoned objects or graffiti, things like that that kind of have a, a sense of a past human presence. I also like to gather large objects which will sit in my studio for a while until their, you know, their use becomes apparent. Um, but lately, the last year when I haven't had much access to the space in my studio, I've been gathering smaller objects, uh, little bits of plastic and uh, little bits of wood or metal. Um, and I've been creating little models out of those in these model boxes. Even little things from the recycling bin I was saving because I thought they were interesting objects that could then be spray painted or change, you know, have the colour change to change its context as well or turn it into something else by using a little bit of wire or a clothes peg or something. Um, and those informed a few drawings that I've done recently. I love to draw on a large scale. I use rags and I use cloths and I use sticks. I use all sorts of materials to push the charcoal into the page. Sometimes I'm so rough with the paper that it's you know, it'll wear away a little bit in some areas, which I'm fine with. It's all part of how I make imagery. When I was at home making these model boxes, I worked on some smaller drawings. Um, I'll probably scale them up and make them much bigger so that I can have that kind of performance with my drawing. That, that act, it's such a physical process, especially on a larger scale.